Hi, I'm Mrs. Hilbert. And Mrs. Jean. Today we are going to read a story titled, Are You Grumpy Santa? By Greg and Evan Spiradellis. We all know Santa's jolly, but there's something else worth knowing. There are times when even Santa doesn't feel like ho-ho-hoing. If you've never heard this story, you might be quite surprised. It's about a grumpy Santa who became ungrumpified. One night while Santa slept, dreams of Christmas in his head, a giant snore from Mrs. Claus blew him out of bed. He rolled across the bedroom floor, oochie ouchie o, oh, then tripped over a bowling ball and stubbed his little toe. He was tired and his toe hurt, but he hopped into the tub. My big round jelly belly sure could use a soapy scrub. But when he turned the shower knob, ah, oh, this water's freezing. He jumped out of the bathtub, now sniffling and sneezing. The elves defrosted Santa by the edge of a small fire and tried to warm his favorite Santa suit inside the dryer. But the dryer shrank his suit, so they made a little switch and replaced it with the wooly one that made him scratch and itch. At breakfast, things got worse. There must be some mistake. What happened to my waffles, pancakes, sausage, eggs, and steak? I want you on a diet. You're so handsome when you're thin. A grouchy Santa mumbled, today I just can't win. Santa grabbed his gifts and headed out the door, but his fleet of flying reindeer weren't where they were before. When he finally found them, he shouted out, Oh no! His reindeer had been buried, hoof to antler, in the snow. The reindeer were still frozen. They flew out of control. They almost crashed the speeding sleigh into the striped North Pole. Hold steady, Santa yelled as he unfolded his map. Then a giant gust of wind blew up and stole poor Santa's cap. At the first house on his list, Santa had no change of luck. He jumped into the chimney, but his belly got him stuck. He wiggled side to side, then gave a mighty push. He fell into the fireplace and sprained his chubby tush. In Paris, he was chased by a tiny growling poodle. In Italy, he slipped upon a rigatoni noodle. He was nearly trampled by a bull in beautiful Pampelona. He bumped into a Christmas tree in Phoenix, Arizona. At the last house on his list, near the point of full despair, he tripped over a toy train and flew up in the air. He grabbed the chandelier, then heard the ceiling crack. Poor old Santa tumbled down and landed on his back. I'm tired, my toe hurts, I'm hungry and I'm freezing. My wool suit is so itchy, I'm sniffling and I'm sneezing. My head has got a bump, my tush is wrapped in gauze. I can't take this anymore. I'm my grumpy Santa Claus! Then suddenly he saw it next to the Christmas tree. He walked over to inspect it, belly grumbling hungrily. It was a card for Santa. Painted on it was a wreath. And then he picked it up. He found some cookies underneath. As he read the note inside, his heart did nearly pause. We made you all these cookies because we love you, Santa Claus. Santa smiled and took a bite. The lesson was quite clear. When people do nice things for you, the grumpies disappear. Santa flew into the night, the winter moon aglow. He felt so good, he shouted out a hearty ho, ho, ho. So remember, make them chocolate, silky smooth, or extra lumpy. Just be sure to leave some cookies in case Santa's feeling grumpy.